Hello and welcome to News Mobile Prime Time Wrap. I am Saurabh Shukla. Here are the top news stories of the day. Prime Minister Narendra Modi held designation level talks with Austrian Chancellor Karl Nehmer at the Federal Chancellery in Vienna today. PM Modi, who is on a two-day visit to Austria, arrived here last evening after wrapping up a landmark visit to Russia. This is the first visit by an Indian Prime Minister to Austria in over 40 years as Indira Gandhi was the last Indian Prime Minister to visit the country in 1983. At least 18 people have been killed and several others were injured after a double-decker sleeper bus rammed into a milk container in Uttar Pradesh's Unnao district. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced a compensation of 2 lakh rupees for the dead and 50,000 rupees for those injured in the accident. Initial investigations have revealed that the bus is registered on the name of a farmer in Mahoba district of Uttar Pradesh and that the address in the documents were all fake. The bus also lacked permits and insurance. Suri Gavaskar, arguably one of India's most impactful cricketers, has turned 75 today. The all-time great opener was founded on a near-perfect technique complemented by high levels of concentration. With his excellent judgment of length and line, Gavaskar possessed virtually every stroke in his arsenal. The much-awaited big fat wedding of Anand Ambani and Radhika Merchant is just around the corner, and every ceremony has been a star-studded affair. But the wedding of the son of Asia's richest man Mukesh Ambani will not just witness a beeline of tinsel town celebs, but is also expected to cause traffic snarls in Mumbai. The city will literally stop for the four-day extravaganza to be attended by celebrities, industrialists, and politicians. A video of Bihar Chief Minister and JDU Chief Nitish Kumar marching is widely being circulated on social media with a. that the Bihar chief minister led a march demanding special status for the state news mobile fact checked the claim attached to the video and found it to be misleading putting the video keyframes through reverse image search the news mobile fact check team found that the original video posted on abb news's youtube channel was dated march 2 2014 confirming that the video in question is over a decade old keep following news mobile for more such fact checks and beyond thanks for watching news mobile prime time wrap and do let us know what do you think of our stories and do share this video thanks for watching